Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to upgrade a live production system using System Platform 2012 to System Platform 2014 R2. Here in this demonstration video I'll be using a virtual uh, virtualization environment and we're going to focus on three nodes the GR node uh, and the primary and the backup object servers. First, we'll open up our GR node here in our virtual environment. And what we what we want to look for is um, any errors and warnings uh, in association with our objects in the galaxy. And we're going to make sure through Object Viewer that everything is running as we expect. Here we see that everything is online. I'm receiving data. And obviously, I'm connected to my I.O. We'll just shut that down. And begin the upgrade process. We'll, we'll begin with the GR node first. You load up your DVD. I'll double click on it to begin the setup process. Now during the setup uh, routine we'll get this notification uh, if uh, .NET Framework 4.51 is not present then it's, it's required and we'll just simply say yes and it'll begin that uh, installation process. Okay once that's finished we click on OK and it will reboot the system. Once the system has uh, rebooted, it will con continue the uh, setup process. All right, we'll get this dialog box about installing additional um, prerequisites. Just click install. Once the prerequisites have been installed, we click on next. We get a dialog box telling us about the product that's uh, going to be upgraded. Click on OK. Next we get this dialog that recommends that we back up the Galaxy database and we have so we click on Next. It lets us know that there are deployed objects uh, running on the node, so we just click on Next as well. Let's us know um, which items are going to be upgraded in this list. Uh, we click on Next. Next, we get another uh, prerequisite uh, dealing with the uh, Sentinel protection, just click on install. Once that's complete, we click on next. We look again and for one, uh, one final verification, and we click on upgrade. Once the installation has completed successfully, we'll click on Finish. And we'll get the dialog prompting us to reboot. So let's restart now. Once the system has successfully rebooted, we'll open up the IDE and migrate the Galaxy. We'll get this dialog box and advising us that we need to migrate. We'll just say yes. And that will begin the migration process. Once the migration is complete, we click on close. And it'll open up the IDE with the uh, migrated Galaxy.
As you can see, once the IDE is open, you'll see a, a new interface. And let's navigate to our GR node, which we just upgraded and migrated. Right click and select deploy. Once the deployment is complete, uh, we click on close. And now we can move on to the secondary node um, in our upgrade process, which is the uh, secondary or the backup object server. We'll just minimize this and close this particular console. And we'll move on to the backup object server. We'll navigate to our DVD. And begin the uh, installation process by running setup. And as with the upgrade of the GR node, we'll get this dialog box about installing .NET Framework uh, 4.51. Just uh, select yes. Once that prerequisite of uh, .NET Framework 4.5.1 has been installed, we click on OK and it, the system will reboot. And once the system has successfully rebooted, the installation process will continue. And we see here by this dialog box that we have some additional prereqs to install. Let's just click install prereqs. Now, now that the prereqs have been installed, we'll click on next. We'll get the dialog box indicating what's going to be upgraded. Click OK. Click on next to this dialog box as well. Scroll down and re-verify and click on next. Let's install this additional prereq. Click on next to continue. Uh, and then we select upgrade. Once the installation process has finished, we'll click the finish button. And then we'll be prompted to restart our system. Once the system uh, successfully reboots, then we'll go to, then we'll go to the GR node and redeploy the uh, secondary object server. Now that our system has rebooted, we can uh, shut this console. And let's head back to our GR node. Let's take a look at our IDE. Locate our secondary object server. Right click and deploy. Select OK.
Once the deployment has completed successfully, we can click close and we can open up Object Viewer to see how our uh, upgrade is progressing. We can see that at currently the uh, engine is now on the on the backup node and the partner node which is the uh, primary is ready for upgrade. Just minimize this we can close this particular console down and let's move on to the primary node. Let's open up Windows Explorer, navigate to our DVD, and let's begin the setup process. Let's install the .NET Framework 4.51 on this node as well. Once it's complete, we click on OK and the system will again reboot. So once rebooted, the installation process will continue. And once we get this dialog box here, we'll have to install some additional prereqs. Once that's complete, we click on Next. Get the dialog box, it lets us know what we're going to upgrade. And click on next to this dialog box as well. Scroll down and verify that we're going to upgrade uh, the uh, appropriate components on this particular node. Click next. Okay, we'll get this dialog box um, and let's install it as a prereq as well. Once the prereq is has been installed, let's click on next and upgrade. Once the installation is finished, we click the button. And we get the dialog box to say uh, to tell us to restart the system. We, we click on restart now. Once the system has successfully rebooted, we can close this console and let's head back to the GR node. So on the Galaxy repository, we can see here this is our primary node. Let's right click on it and deploy. Once the deployment is complete, we click on close. And we can open up our object viewer. And we can see that we have data connection statuses are okay and the redundant status is okay as well. That concludes this video on how to upgrade from System Platform 2012 R2 to System Platform 2014 R2 in a live production environment. Thank you.